Today I'm making this little wallet mini journal and filling it with lots of embellishments. I'll be using the day three for the collab challenge hop J and C fall 22. Hi everybody, it's Julie. Welcome to the Messy Desk. I am here with day three of the JNC Fall Collage Challenge Hop. So the collab part, Kara has made a page for day three and I have made a page for day three. And we are, um, for the challenge part, going to take the two pages and make something with these that we can use in a finished journal um, that we'll be posting in the six weeks. So there's five pages for, for the challenge and I'll show those right here. So here we go. We are going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and go cut all of these and I am going to go and print this on label paper. I'll be right back. Okay. So I have these all, um, cut. I have the big piece. I have this one. I did rip the lace pieces. And then we have the mushroom, the owl, the landscape. We have the 10 and 11 flinch cards. This is scrap. Um, we have a stamp. We have the little girl. And I turned the mushroom card into, made it look like a stamp also. Remember that, um, I believe it was the owl and the mushroom and the um, or maybe it's the mushroom and the doily doilies came off of the collage part okay and so we are gonna go ahead and let's start by gluing this down okay And putting that aside, and I have a stack of these out of my mom's stash, and we're going to go ahead and put that down. Okay. And we'll cut it right above it. So we're just layering that onto some cardstock because I used copy paper. Because, you know, that's what I do. Okay. So I want to check this. And I'm thinking I can. Well, let's wait. Let's wait. Okay, um, make sure that that's down, down real good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. Okay. And then we're going to fold this piece back. Okay, I want to leave a little bit of space there okay and so that is what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a little 
gizmo that I can open like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little piece here and I'm going to grab another piece of this from my mom's my mom's stuff. We'll go ahead and grab the glue book. Okay. And just go ahead and put it down. And I'm going to start by doing this and I'm going to glue it down again. Okay. Okay. I want it to be, I need it to be thicker than what I had there. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and come in and rip around it. Holding with my left, ripping with my right gives me a little bit of control over what I'm doing. A little bit. <laughs> okay. So there, I, I get that. And it's, to me, it looked like a little knob. Okay. So a little knob. And I'm going to go ahead and put my little knob on here. And I am going to staple it with my tiny attacher. Okay. So a little staple. A little staple. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that is going to be my base. Now we're going to work on the inside. Okay, so I am going to take this piece. Okay, this piece. And I'm going to fold it at about an inch and a half. Okay, and I'm going to fold it across. Now I'm going to come back and just cut it off like this. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to come over here. give myself a little tuck. Okay, so I'll have a pocket and a tuck. So building the base here. I'm going to go ahead and glue down my tuck. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't want to put glue on that edge, so I'm going to fold that over. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry. No. Pull the glue out. Ugh, now I've got this dumb old glue on my fingers. <laughs> I don't like this glue on my fingers. It is weird. Glue, glue. Who's got the glue? Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put that down. I don't know if you caught that, but I went ahead and I folded that side over. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue this across here. Glue it down. And then go around the three sides. Making this into a little pocket. Okay. 
I just like that. Okay. So we have the base. Okay, it's gonna go like that and go like that. Okay, so next I have some beautiful paper that Bonnie had made me and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure here okay for my first for my first cut we'll measure of course you know what let's check this Almost could have done it this way. Almost. Could we? Eh. Yeah, we could because it's it's a mini. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that at the halfway mark. Okay. Line it up. And cut it. Okay. So my little mini journal inside of here is going to go in here. Okay. I'm going to do page. Okay. And we'll add a little flip. And we'll cut some off. We just want a little flip. Okay, so I've added a flip and I will fold this in half. Okay, there's that. I will have that. And then I'm going to do this again. Over. I don't need a flip this time. I just need to know where the end is supposed to be. So we'll cut that. <laughs> okay, so I've got that piece. I've got this piece. Flip. I have this piece. Wait a minute, see if that will nah. Okay, and we're gonna go like that. So I'm gonna use all these pieces. part of this little mini journal. Then I'm going to take the original piece, okay, so this original piece, and I am, let's see, if we go, let's kind of get a measurement here we go from where it needs to be cut, we can come over to just inside this tree. Okay, and I am gonna cut the, um, the border off here. And we can go right at this spot here, okay? So if I continue up, I think that's a perfect, and a, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna do that, okay? Come over here and we're gonna cut this. I still have that. I might use it today. I might use it later. Okay. Okay, so oh I need to cut the borders off. Okay. There we go. 
go. Count that as a little page and then I'll grab this tree here. Okay. So using the Okay, let's see. What do we end up with? We don't want to lose our owl. So, um, let's see. If we go to this side, then we, nah, we want to go on this side. Okay, so we're going to go to this side of the owl. And then let's That gives us that. Now we can go over here and take this to the sides of the acorns like that. Okay. Okay, so like this. And then that can go in. This can become a pocket. So I think we'll put it on the other big page, like this. Okay, and we'll have a flip over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and this has already been um, inked. So that was ink and dauber right there. One of the things that we did for our challenge on the Dear Julie Julie channel for September. Okay. Okay, so we've got a little pocket. And we've got a little flip. And I think we'll put the, the skinny one, skinny piece in between there. Okay. And... Since that flip is in the back, we'll put this flip in the front. And, oh, darn. Um, <laughs> oh, darn. I'm, I want this to be in the front. Oh, we, we cut the bear off a little bit if we do that. You know what? Never mind. We have, don't forget we have these so let's put so this is I printed right on labels okay so I have that label that can come and go right on the front here um, but I want to bring in a sticker okay so we can add this sticker like this, okay, and then bring this, and it just will help to, and that gives us a little cover, sort of, for our, for our little journal here, okay, our mini journal, okay, then we've got this sticker, and it can go right here. On that page and then from here we have the owl that we can go ahead and carefully rip oh I don't think I'm gonna like him like what I was gonna do but he can go over here should go up here. I'm going to cut. Okay. 
Okay. So making your own stickers. So I, on Tuesday, will be giving you lots of ideas using digitals in a variety of ways, including stickers. Okay, including making stickers out of them. So this one, we're going to just put him right up like this. Okay. Okay, and then I think he is so cute. I think... I'm going to put him right here. Okay. Very cute. And I'm going to grab this guy. And him on this page. Okay, so put this aside for a moment. Okay, so we have the squirrel and then him here. Okay, actually, let's put him on, on here. Okay. Don't worry, any um, sticker pieces you can, you'll, we'll be able to use them somewhere. Okay, so if you have address labels hanging around, these were the the larger ones. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut him out. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and turn him into an actual tag. Like that. Okay. So he's going to be able to come in here. So I'm going to probably want like a little belly band there. And I was thinking that piece, this piece... eggs maybe okay I'm gonna go ahead and put all this down Okay, if I can, oh, you know what? I don't want to see it from the, I was going to put it down with a uh, paper or staples, but. Okay, so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to, I've got something else I need to do to this. Okay, so I'm going to put the glue on and come over and make sure that the staples are down. Okay, and then I'm going to come back and grab this sticker piece. And put it over <laughs> over the staples okay just to 
Okay, then we'll grab this, put it on here. Put this guy in. There he goes. I like him. I think he looks cute there. Okay. Okay, um, so we've got this going. Um, let's see. Okay, what if we go eggs? Okay, so this can be a little smaller than. Okay, but you get the squirrel and the eggs. And then we'll come over here, and I think we'll go ahead and um, cut her off. Let's see. Yeah, so let's cut her off. So, I had a really cool idea to do with this page, um, but I didn't have time to... Uh, <laughs> To figure out the logistics, it was, I, I thought I could just do it, and it was logistically um, <laughs> playing with my brain. So, I don't know if there's something going on out there, but something, something was playing, playing with my brain. Okay, so I end up with them all together. I didn't really want... Um, okay, if I go there, okay, we go, like, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we'll go squirrel, label, squirrel label, open, we've got a flip here, the owl, got the eggs and the squirrels, we have a place that we can add something, I want to bring that down, we've got the buck there, we've got a pocket here. Got another label here and this here that folds over, can open out of that. Have him, this, and this. Okay, so back to our labels. They are down here. I don't think I can get the deer and put it together. Okay, so we'll have to cover the deer. Um, the other thing is, is our, oh, our bear is in the middle. I thought he was, I thought he was cut off for some reason. I thought our bear was cut off. Um, I think he should go on something. Okay, so... We're going to pop him up a little bit. Okay. And go like this. And I'm just cutting it around him. And I'm going to finish off. Look at that cool ripping on the top. I like that. So we've got that area that we're going to need to cover. But you guys, this, this little guy will go right there in the pocket. Isn't that awesome? I think that's awesome. Okay. Um, then we have our pretty little lady. And let's see. We have... Don't worry. I am going to get to the rest of the Dear Julie Julie stuff. I'm doing this different this time. I'm filling it and then filling it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn this into a pocket. So we're going to take this piece. And again, we're going to pop it up on here. And cut around it. Okay, 
and then that's going to come and we'll have a little pocket or a tuck here. I think we'll go with, or we could come up here and give it a top tuck. Yeah, we'll come down here and give it a pocket. Okay. Pocket. So one sheet of stickers, a sheet of labels. Do you have address labels? Do you have a variety of labels? Wait till you see what I have from my dad's office supplies and from Sally's office supplies. So cool. Okay, I'm thinking I might add her right here on the edge. <laughs> Tom called me to do something. I totally forgot I had this in the printer. I had this page from some old close to my heart paper. And then I printed the Sunshine Antique in Leaf Digital on the back. This is a great background kit. It has several background full pages and then it even has tags and postcards and the ruby diamond um, the pa patreons received this in August as a free gift and then it's in the Etsy shop remember all the Etsy digitals are on sale for 50% off if you are a diamond or emerald patreon your 70% off coupon code is in <laughs> the it's in the place <laughs> oh my goodness okay so we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this one also at half okay This is going to give me another pretty page. Oh, we're going to have to cut it one more time, huh? Okay. Should we just do a page? Just go boom to boom. Oh, you know what? If we leave just a little bit, we can pull it over and have a border tuck. Okay, then we'll have that. This is a nice weight paper. It's not super heavy weight, but it um, it is nice. Okay, so if I go here, and I love double-sided paper, so being able to take a digital and turn it into double-sided paper is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do I want to bring the yellow? Yeah, bring the yellow to the green side. I pulled this paper out last month for my challenge journal and it didn't get in there, primarily because I never got the back printed. So today I've been printing um, for my October challenge because everything that you print a digital on, all the papers, all the different kinds of papers, you can use those as a free item in the challenge. This month we do have a, the challenge has some limit to it. So, oh my gosh, look at, she should go on there, huh? Yes, she should from and I think we'll just put her on there. No other. Oh, yes. Perfect. But I do want to use the glue stick. I like having this variety of glues. So um, update on my organization. <laughs> um, I, have, I ended up with some new bookcases. And so I'm having to re configure what I was doing. However, what I was 
to be able to move one of those bookcases that I want in here, one of the shallow bookcases are coming in into the um, craft room. Um, oh, I like this. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Um, let's see. I, I like the way that looks. Am I going to look? Yeah, look at, we'll put this like this, even though, okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. Okay, so we have the owl, or we have the squirrel. We have the owl, we have the eggs, we have some yellow, we have a border tuck. We still have a place we can put something here. And got that there. And so what I was thinking with this is that we could just flip this up one way or the other and somehow add a pocket a double pocket. Um, hmm. Well, it's, oh, maybe I was supposed to do it this way. Yeah, this way. This way you actually have enough room for, <laughs> okay. So if we go with this, since the other one had a lot of yellow, and then we'll go with the green on this one. So I guess we'll have a short side and a long side. Okay, and it can go here like that, like that, or I think we'll do like this and this. Okay, yeah. You're like, what does it matter? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I still have this to use. And so, um, okay, so I've got this, this little goodie here. I'm liking it very much. And I think I want to take a little envelope and put it in the center. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and I will go ahead. I'm gonna sew this, okay? I'm gonna sew it on the sewing machine. I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I just sewed it. I like it. I think it would have been cool if I'd have sewn around the outside. I didn't though. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to put a dot right on here to close that. Okay. That's going to close that. We'll hold it. And this is going to open this. Okay. There we go. So we've got two little spots that we can put stuff or we can put something through there like it's a belly band. And then we've got this. I have my, this is compromised right here. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Hold it. Okay. Now, 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 now. Okay. Cute. Cute, cute. We've got this little goodie. I wish I knew what I did with the yarn that I had picked out to use with this stuff. I don't know. Okay, so um, I'm going to want something to go on top of here. And I want to just take a look real quick at the the labels that I have. I also have the tree. I have the tree. And the tree is driving me crazy. I think we'll go ahead and put the tree down. Let's put it on this side. Okay. Put the tree down on here. Okay. I'm 
okay with the top of the tree coming off, I think. We'll put the... There we go. Okay. So there's the tree. And we're going to fold this over. And that's going to give me a little... Little card. Okay. That can come and go right back in there. And okay. So I wanted to do something here. I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and here. Let's. just measuring to get a little flip thing okay I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it but that's how I do it okay so I have it upside down Oh, no, this is what I wanted. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Help me, help me. Okay. So we'll have some feet down there still, but that's okay. And then you can um, pull this down and you'll be able to write on it. How cool is that? Okay, here we go. Put it in. Put it in. Okay. okay, so we had something that was small. This little guy is kind of small. And it can, it can hold this. Okay, the way I'm going to hold it. So I have Kira down here. I have some dear Julie, Julie right here. I'm going to use the, the stapler put this down. I don't need too much there to hold it. And then we're going to go ahead and staple there. And staple there. Okay. So this little goodie can go underneath there. Okay. Yay. Like it. Like it, like it. Okay. Now, for inside here, I think we'll go with, we'll come down to here and here, okay, so straight across, okay, and then let's, let's do the, just the side to side real fast. Boom shakalaka. And I wanted to do that because I'm hoping that gives it. Oh, wow. I went way down. <laughs> okay. I guess I was measuring from the top. If I go like this, you can write on all that. Put that right up in there. Okay, I like it. I like it very much. Okay, now we had, oh man. Okay, we had the silly little egg. I think he can go right in there. And then we can add this other egg.
behind it like this okay so we'll have both of those now it's open on the inside so we can add something inside here will our owl fit inside there oh that came undone well that's not good did we not glue it very good what's the story well in that case you know what we're gonna do Go ahead and staple it. Okay. He's too big to go in there, actually. I have an idea, though. It's okay. Okay, so on here, we're going to have this guy and this guy. They'll just sit right in there. And... Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, I wanna. What do we have? We have some of the oak leaves. What if we cut those? Okay. You're like, what if we went. From here, okay, so from here, and we bring it down, and we go around, and we come up here. Now, we're going to need to glue this, I think. So, just in case, we're just going to, we're just going to do it, okay? Oh, man. Glue. Okay. Then, where is, where's the girl? There she is. Mm, nope. Mushrooms? <laughs> Does anybody else get this messy? Yeah, mushrooms. I think we'll put the mushrooms right there. See all the acorns. I like the acorns. Okay. And let's see. We have. I should have put this in like like a doily in there. I didn't though. put it there and it could be like a little pocket because you know I love pockets and I cannot lie and Bonnie I love this this paper is perfect for this so thank you for that that gift from our um it was actually from the VIP I'm gonna go ahead and come across come across <laughs> I'm gonna add this into the corner as a tuck okay
There we go. Okay. And if we take this. Can I add our mushroom? Okay, and I have this that I can go ahead and cut out. It's the back of a cigarette card and the one I have is blue. And we're gonna just gonna go with, did you know? It's talking about the difference between a mushroom and a toadstool. And we'll just put that right on there. So, um, I don't know if you know, but I used up all those little mini pieces that I had. I think there might be a postcard left. I think I even used it actually. Okay. There we go. Got a little tag in there with the mushroom. Let's see. Got that taken care of. And so I usually really do try to um, can put something in there like that or like that. I like that. Okay, from from the tear. It's now a tear sheet. There is a squirrel right there. I've got more eggs. I've got people. So I have two sheets basically of Kara's stuff. So I think we'll put the little, where should we put him? In here? Um, you know what? How about if we add that? Yeah, I like that on there. So just about used up two two whole sheets of Kara's the the labels and the the collage. And we've got just a little bit from my kit left. Let's see if we go across here. We go up here. And across here. Will that fit? Almost. Now it fits. Okay. Um. Ooh, okay. Okay. Better care. And a dear 
Julie Julie on there. this piece. Oh, there we go. Put it right there. Yeah, when I get a little quiet when it comes to the trying to figure out where to put things. It's like, oh, I can put that there. I can put that there. Okay. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> go down and I'll cut it from the other side okay so don't forget you guys um, you can use your address label stickers your wine label stickers your business cards all those things you can print on them with your digital. Okay, we'll just add that on top of there. Okay, so I hope you'll come back um, Well, I guess it'll be Thursday because you won't see this till Wednesday. I said Tuesday earlier. It'll be Wednesday or Thursday. So it'll be the day after you see this one. And I will be printing digitals on a variety of different papers. So there you go. He can go right in there. I've got this little pocket that needs okay there we go well it looks like i lost some footage i was just um collaging the last of uh, using up the last of the stickers the last of the label stickers, and I did use a little bit of the, um, I do still have this part of the second page, and this is what's left of the labels. Okay, so I, I'm gonna call that one done. <laughs> and so these can go ahead and find homes inside here thinking we'll put the little squirrel in the tree and let's see oh 
Uh, the deer is going to go in the envelope here. The deer in here. Okay. So, oh, he needs a he needs a dilly bobber. We won't be able to get him out. Let's go to some bean pieces here. Grab our little circle punch. This is a three quarter inch circle punch and that one's gone. It flew so far that I don't know where it went. <laughs> so I'll be able to use that later, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead and let's see. Do we wanna, wanna put, a, put them like that? This is what you're gonna see though, so. So lots of fun little things in here. Okay, so that can can stick out like that. Okay, I have this this little card, and it can go. I don't know where this one or this one. I think we'll put this little little girl with the. Yeah. Well, it kind of gets kind of gets lost in that one. I think we'll put that there. Okay. And okay. Oh, that could go there. So I did a a pocket, but I didn't close it. Is what that what that is. Then I did, oh, that's where the little girl's supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, she's supposed to go here. Yeah, because then you can still see her and everything. Okay, and then we have a paper clip, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right here. And that gives you a place that you can paper clip something. And then this can close like this and like this. And I think I just saw out of the corner of my eye these. I did find um, the pad of these, so I traded out traded it out for something else for my um, challenge journal. I'm gonna go ahead and use the fabric tech. Okay, we're going to put that right here. And then, well, the embroidery thread that we've been using is gone. So I guess we'll just use some binding, binding string. Oh, there you go. That's what we're going to use right there. Okay. I'll go ahead and go around this and tie it. Maybe I need to use that paper clip on the outside here. I'm okay with that. There we go. Hope you don't want it to just flop open when you open it, right? I did add a little tie it tag. Okay, so take this one and go around a couple times. And then tie it. Okay, so that's uh, that's going to be my day three. I made a little wallet style mini journal. I think it is adorable. And it sure is full of stuff. So let's take a look. Um, we added 
the doily, we added it to a couple of pieces of the cardstock that was from my mom's stash. Um, and then added the little poppy from the, it's a note paper that I have. Um, we have the large Dear Julie Julie Lotto ticket with the fun um, band on it. And then you open it up and we've got our little bear tag here. And I did add this sticker behind it so that when you open this, it, um, it, it helped with the weight of what was going on. So we've got that in the little belly band. Then we made the pocket from one of the Dear Julie Julie pieces. So part of it's here, part of it's here. And then the other part, I took it and let's find it. There it is. I put it around and added this little tuck here. Okay, so that's how we use that piece from the Dear Julie Julie. This is one of the labels. This bear is one of this, the labels. This is one of the labels. We added a Dear Julie Julie stamp and a piece of the larger doily here and made a tag. And it was already ripped and I was like, oh, well, we're just gonna keep that because that's really cool. Added a sticker here, got some glue and then one of the labels over the top of the sticker to give us our inside cover page. We have a little flip. We went ahead and ripped around on the owl on a label. And then we added from the second page of Kara's kit, we added a page and it had already been inked. Then we added this page where we, I had um, backed some gingham paper with the um, sunshine antique sunshine in leaf it's a book in leaf and then added the lady here and this is the landscape the little tiny landscape from the dear julie julie and then on this i took one of the labels that was just a bunch of leaves and then i put the owl on top of it and we have a little card here. Added the sticker here. The book is from one of the, the printed labels. Here is one side of this page. And we made it into a pocket. And then this is the little tag that I made with the, the squirrel on the tree. And it has one of the stickers in the back. Backing it got a little pocket here and it has the negative of the round sticker and this little piece that was left of one of the, the labels made it into a little sticker here I collaged <laughs> just collaged what was left onto a card and I actually like it it's one of my favorites we have another card back here and the square sticker is attached here I put a little tiny envelope in the center here, and then we made a tag using the deer from the second printout of Kara's. And I can just um, put this right over this. And this is a piece from a bingo game. And then we've got a couple more pieces of scraps that we've made into little tiny cards. Here we have um, one of the label that had the bunny and look how he fit perfectly in the center of that. That's uh, unbelievable. Um, and then I made a tag and it was too big. So I folded it over, but it's up in here and that gives you a place to write on this page. And we also have one of these little fold down. You can journal here and fold that right back up using the little flinch card from the Dear Julie Julie page. Okay, then we have another little pocket. Again, I left it open so that that will fit in there. Here's a piece of the larger doily. This is the other side of the page and we have another flip. You could go ahead and add some lined paper in there and make a flip flop if you wanted. 
So there are, is places to make lists and things like that. Here is another piece of one of the labels. And then we have another little card and it's got the, the little girl from the Dear Julie Julie day. Okay. And this is nice paper and it's backed with the sunshine, antique sunshine in leaf, book in leaf digital. And we added the people here. That was from one of the labels. This is from the page. Here's more of the large doily and we have our mushroom tag. And I took the, um, the flinch card and I folded in half the mushroom flinch card and I put it on here. And so that is our card for that page. And we have this that can open up and you can write in there. And so it folds up like a wallet and then we have the paper clip to hold it just so that it doesn't fly open like it was when you open it. And you can go ahead and tie it shut. So I love this. <laughs> Use your longer one. And you can just go around this here if you want to as well. So there you go, our little wallet style mini journal using the day three pages from Kara Brandon Creations and Dear Julie Julie and featuring the Kara's collage printed on labels. I think this was a lot of fun. It's definitely something I'm going to do again. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it tomorrow. So come back tomorrow and see all of the different ways that I put digitals on a variety of papers to be able to use them fast and fun in my journals. So I want to thank the funds. They are in the description box down below. Remember, this is a hop. So you'll want to go to the next creator down there, watch their video. Make sure you like it and leave a comment and you do that all five weeks to all of the HOP members and we have prizes for those that do that. We have um, Kara is making a tag kit and I'll be making a digital kit and thankful, grateful, and blessed for you to use for um for November. I think it's going to be really, really a lot of fun. Okay. Thank you, Kara. This was another great day of our challenge. Um, I really enjoy and I'm excited whenever we get to do our, our collabs and I'm really excited to have added the challenge and the hop and I, it's, it's been a lot of fun to see everything everybody's making. Remember you can, um, also look at for the hashtag J and C fall 22 and you'll be able to see all of the projects everybody's doing. You'll be able to see that in all the different types of so social media. Also, there is a playlist each week. It comes out a few days after um the initial, you know, we do this on Wednesday at 1030. Everybody's videos go live. And then a couple days later, I, if, well, as soon as I can, I will have a playlist. And then we are working on a playlist that has everybody's YouTube videos on it. So check that out. Check out Instagram. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm amazed. I am amazed at the creators that we have working with us and the ideas and how different people use these same two papers to come up with beautiful art. So again, thank you so much for being here. We'll be back again next Wednesday with day four. And until then, I'll be here every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget that there's a live chat and you can join us there. And we'd love to have you find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.